Okay, let's learn how to create some animations with a library called animate.css. And animate CSS is a simple way to add CSS transitions and animations to any objects on your page. Uh, you can choose the different animation types, and once you click animate, you can see the animation happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just create a new project. And I'm just going to call this animation. Then I'm going to open this in my text editor, and I'm just going to create a new index.html file. So I'll just save this as index.html, and then I'll create a new HTML file. And I'll call this animation. And next we'll need to bring over the library. So I'll need to go ahead and go to the page and click on download. And this will be in my downloads folder, and I can go ahead and move this into my projects folder. Okay, next we'll need to link to that. So inside of the header, I am going to type in link href animate.css. Okay, next I'm just going to create a block on the screen. So I'll just call this block and I'll give that a little bit of styles. I'll give it a width of 140 pixels and a height of the same. So after I've done that, I'm just going to go ahead and open up the file. And once I open it on the screen, nothing too impressive, just a block on the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the uh, CSS transitions to this block. And all we need to do is add two classes. So we need to add class animated and then whatever animation that we want to add. So let's say that we added the pulse animation. We can go ahead and save that and then reload the page and then you'll see we have that animation happening once the page loads. So it's really cool. You can go through all the different animations on here and say if we wanted it to do a swing animation, we could then just add the swing class to this div and then we reload our page and we'll see the swing animation happening. So this is really cool. I would recommend checking out this library and using it in some of your projects to just add some simple CSS animations.